Hello guys, this is Ramirez 3RG with a quick tutorial on how to install XBMC on your iPad without having to plug it into the computer. First, it needs to be a jailbroken device, obviously. Second, we need iFile. You need to have iFile installed onto your iPad or iPhone. This will work for the iPhone, iPod, and your iPad, obviously. Um, as you know, XBMC is used to watch uh, free media online. Once you have it downloaded, you can pretty much watch any movie that's out there without having to go to the site like 66 Stage or Stage 66 and so on and so on. This is what it's going to look like once you have it installed. And then you can pretty much browse through their, through their folders and watch all the movies you want to see. Alright, so now let's get started. <clears throat> All right. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Cydia. If you don't already have iFile, first thing you're gonna search for is iFile. All right. So you can just click on the bottom right corner, and this is not even recording. Oh, yes it is. All right. And you just search iFile. Install. All right. Second thing we're going to do is go to sources. So you pretty much select your iFile device. You can select the cracked ones, the regular ones. They all work the same. I did not purchase this product. It didn't really ask me to, even though it's highlighted in blue. But it works fine. Go to sources, and you're gonna install the following source. You're gonna click edit, add, and you're gonna add the source for for XBMC, which is on the description below, which is mirrors. dot xbmc dot org forward slash apt forward slash ios then you're going to click add source I'm not going to add the source because I already have it added once it's installed click on team xbmc and you're going to click on xbmc ios and you're going to click install in the top right corner once it's installed you will see it on your phone screen like I showed you earlier just like this now what you're gonna do you're gonna go to your browser you're gonna go to NaviX so you can google NaviX or you can go to the website which is NaviX Navi hyphen X dot org you're gonna go to downloads you're gonna download NaviX when you click download I guess it knows that I already have it downloaded. It's going to download to iFile. If it gives you another option, just select iFile. Okay? Again. Download. Select iFile. When you have selected iFile, you, what you're going to do is, you're going to, wherever it drops it, just uh, select it, like so. You're going to select it. Select. You're going to select it again, and press cut. Okay? Now, when you have done that, what you're going to do, you're going to go to your home screen, you're going to go to media, you're going to edit, you're going to add, press the plus button, you're going to add a folder called NaviX, okay? I already have the folder created, so I'm not going to create it again. You're going to go to NaviX folder, you're going to press down on the screen, and you're going to press paste, so that it appears like so on this folder, okay? You need to do that in the media folder, because otherwise you're not going to find it. I still don't know where it drops it off originally, so you gotta make sure you do it the right way the first time. All right. Once you have done that, you're gonna exit. You're gonna go to XBMC. You're gonna ex you're gonna when it opens up, you're gonna be at your home screen. All right. Let me just exit out completely so you can see it from the beginning. All right. 
you're going to come up to this screen, you're going to press settings, add-ons, install from zip file, home folder, media, NaviX folder, and you're going to select zip file. Once you have done that, you'll be all set, and NaviX next BMC will be installed in your iPad and you're ready to watch movies. Thank you. If you liked the tutorial, please press like. If you have any comments, please press. Let me know. Leave me any comments, any suggestions. Thank you, guys, and have a good one.